Hi gang, I managed to get a small toy remote control to control a drill motor, and I finally had a chance to work with a MOSFET. This was done as preliminary testing and a learning exercise for the next version of my BB-8 droid. So in this video I'll show you how I did it and explain a little about how a MOSFET works. Here's the problem I had to solve. The drill motor needs a large electrical current available from this drill battery to run it. But my toy remote control truck uses just two AA batteries to power its small motor. So the problem was to get that truck's low current remote control circuit to control the high current drill somehow. The MOSFET solves that problem. A MOSFET is useful for having a low current source control a higher current device. This is the test circuit I came up with. Here's the drill battery, the drill motor, the remote control receiver, which is in the toy truck, and the MOSFET and other stuff I'll talk about. The MOSFET is the IRF614 and is one I'd salvaged from somewhere. Notice that I've mounted the MOSFET on a heatsink. To help keep it cool, I simply screwed it on with some thermally conductive paste between the MOSFET and the heatsink to help with the heat transfer. Much of it is installed on a breadboard, since this was all done at the testing stage. And of course, there's the remote control transmitter itself. When I push on the handle on the remote, the drill motor runs. And here's the circuit diagram. The MOSFET is connected at three places. This is called the gate, this is the drain, and this is the source. See your MOSFET's data sheet for which legs are what, since it may be different. I'll use the electrical symbol for the MOSFET instead, to make it easier to illustrate things. The drill will be powered when the electrical current is allowed to flow through this part of the circuit, between the drain and source. But the way a MOSFET works is that if the gate and source are at the same voltage, then no current will be allowed to flow between the drain and source. And that's the situation when the remote control is off. When the remote control is off, then it's as if this part isn't here. Or it's as if there's a switch there and the switch is open. Essentially we have this. And that means the gate and source are directly connected together and to the positive of the drill battery. This resistor doesn't affect that in this case. Since the gate and source are at the same voltage, no current is allowed to flow between the drain and source. And the drill stays off. To get current to flow between the drain and source, we need to have a few volts between the gate and source. Since this is an N-channel MOSFET, we need the gate to be positive with respect to the source. The higher the voltage, the lower the resistance between the drain and source, and the higher the current. The amount of voltage needed and the resistance you get depends on which MOSFET you have. I first try without these batteries. When I turn the remote control on, I get around 3.2 volts. That's 3.2 volts between the gate and source. This resistor is a 10 mega ohm resistor, or 10 million ohms, quite a large one. It prevents a lot of current from taking this route, allowing a voltage to remain across the gate and source. The MOSFET should now be on, but the drill doesn't run. So I added these batteries here. With the remote control's voltage added to their voltage, when running there's around 7.2 volts, which is enough voltage to turn on the MOSFET and get the motor running. For anyone trying to learn electronics, adding batteries like this is called biasing. You're adding voltage to the truck's voltage to get what you need. But the key point, and it's the problem we were trying to solve, is that even though the drill current here is large, around 2 amps, the controlling current here from the truck is small, around 1.4 microamps. Success. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos like this. That includes one about version 1 of my BB-8 droid, another on how to make a 30 kilovolt high voltage DC power supply, and on the topic of how things work, a detailed one on how a Van de Graaff generator works. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit!